Hi everybody, I'm David Henry from AlarinStageLighting.com and in the latest version of DMXs, there's an awesome new way to control your DMXs system wirelessly. And that's through a little protocol called OSC and an app on your tablet or phone called Touch OSC. Let me show you how it works. First thing we're going to do is go into our DMXs, launch that program, and we're also going to need our tablet and you're going to need to be on a wireless network. Now, if you're on a really crowded network, you may have some trouble staying connected to OSC, which is why I recommend just getting your own router online. They're really inexpensive, and then you can run your own show network. However, it will work fine on a lot of wireless networks. We're going to go ahead to File and DMXs here, and Preferences, and we've got OSC Remote Control. Then on the tablet, I'm using an app called Touch OSC. This is a really inexpensive app available on iOS and Android, and I'll link to it in the various app stores below. What we're going to do once we launch Touch OSC is click this dot in the upper right hand corner. Now, I already have it all set up, but I'm going to walk you through exactly how to set it up. So I'm going to click on OSC here at the top, and then I've got host port outgoing, port incoming, and name if you choose to name your device. That's not really necessary inside of DMXs. Then on the computer side, we've got the ability to enable OSC. We want to do that. We've got the receive port, and so we'll set that to be the same number as the outgoing port on our tablet so that our tablet pushes out and it comes back in on the computer right here at 8000. We've got the transmit to IP address. That's going to be the IP address of our tablet, which we can find right here. If you don't get a standard IP address like this, that's got four numbers. If you've got a really long number, you need to enable airplane mode. Turn off your cellular on your phone. That'll give you a regular old school IP address. Then transmit port is 9000 on the PC, and that's going to match up with the incoming port here on our tablet. Now, you'll need to find the host IP address, which is the IP address of your computer, by going into your system preferences on a Mac or on a PC, going to the Network and Sharing Center. Of course, in the future, this is likely to change, so if you don't know where to find this information, just Google it, and you'll be able to find it really quick. Once you've got all that set up, and it's enabled, on both the tablet side and the PC side, go ahead and close preferences, go back on your tablet, and press done. Perfect. Now the other thing you need to know before you get started is you'll need this layout. Okay, so if we go back into preferences, you'll see I have it under layout here, test DMXs, and you can download this and bring it into OSC from the DMXs website. I'll link to that below as well. Once you do download it direct to your tablet, you can press add from file, go to downloads if you're on an Android like me, and find the layout that you want to use. I'm just going to press back a few times because I already had the layout, of course. Press done. And now we can see we've got our layout. Now, if you're just setting it up for the first time, the first thing you want to do is press this resync button. That's going to go ahead, make sure that your tablet is syncing with the computer, and you'll see the names of your banks and your presets show up right on this screen. There's also a connected dot in the lower left-hand corner to let you know you're connected. Now we can see as I click these different presets, on the screen we're switching between presets as well. Pretty darn cool. Now we'll go ahead and I want to show you a few more things you can do with this test layout. Now these layouts are totally customizable and you can download the Touch OSC editor for free and I'll link to that below as well. We can tap tempo on this big button. We can see the tempo inside of DMXs on the computer matching up as I tap. Let's speed it up a little, yeah. You can adjust the tempo with this slider and also the master level. You can also adjust your crossfade time. On the second page, this is really powerful, you're able to actually modify individual channels inside of DMXs. Now, you can set this up to work however you want with the OSC editor. For example, there's an XY pad here you can set for pan and tilt. You can see them moving here on my PC. You can do rotary faders like this to control a number of channels. And you can also do standard faders like this 
to control regular faded levels of different lights inside your DMX's system. So I hope you can see how, just through this brief introduction, Touch OSC can be a really powerful way to gain some great wireless control of your DMX's rig, whether it's just for updating your movement presets maybe with your moving lights, or controlling your show wirelessly, or just viewing all your presets from off of stage at your next show. Whatever your use is, I hope this video helped you, and if you want more, go check out the resources we've got available at LearnStageLighting.com, and if you're completely new to lighting and don't know what to do next, go ahead and check out Learn Stage Lighting Labs, which is a program that we have that helps people go from no knowledge, or maybe some knowledge, to create a really amazing light show that really amplifies their music. Until then, I'll see you guys later, and don't forget to subscribe.